Rise and shine, guys. It is. What day is it? It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, and I am parked here outside my gym, located inside like, my apartment complex, drinking my pre workout. So, uh, today I'm gonna be doing a vlog. You guys are gonna come with me to work, and we're gonna have a blast. That's what we're gonna do today. But before that, I wanted to share with you guys, it is my last few days here working in a Fort Myers slash Naples TV station. I My last day is actually Friday. I ended up resigning and I'm moving back home. And, you know, at first I had mixed feelings about it, but I'm actually pretty freaking excited and really happy to be back home. Literally, I feel like there's gonna be like a weight lifted off of me, and and yeah, like I'm so excited. But I figured before I leave, let me take you guys with me on a day on the job, and give you guys like a little, kind of like a different sight, a perspective into the job. Cause the last time I did one of these, it was in Georgia, and I was an MMJ. I can't talk. It's too early in the morning for me. I was an MMG by myself in the streets, but now I have a photographer. I don't always get him, but most of the time I do. Yeah. yeah. Right now I'm going to drink my pre-workout and get some exercise in to wake up because I need it. This is today's fit. I'm giving comfortable Barbie vibes. <laughs> Have some breakfast and then hit the road. Got my little baby down there. My goodness, honey. Hey, baby. Hey, slab. Are you sure I'm leaving to work? All right, so we are in my office and I'm whispering because there's people outside. So this is a look at my little workspace. I'm currently getting ready for my day. I already put my face on because I have two live shots today at four and at five. And now I'm gonna hit the road because I have to grab some video of a council meeting that didn't make it online. So I gotta go do that. So then I can play back and start working on my story. And, and yeah, this is a little quick tour of my little workspace at the bureau because I'm a bureau reporter. And boom, 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 boom. We do live shots sometimes here. It's pretty neat. It looks really cool on air. If I have like a little clip, I'll like show you guys. And yeah. this is all I got right now. I hit the road. All right, we are in the car. I'm on my way to Naples because right now I'm in Bonita Springs, so it's like a 30 minute drive And I'm gonna go to City Council Get the video that I need then work on my car and see what else I do for this story uh, But yeah, that is my plan for now And this is a day in the life Sometimes you have no idea what's next you just go with the flow, but it will all work out at the end So that's what matters Good news, we got the video. I am editing. This is my work office outside of City Hall. I don't have a photographer today, but he went to get lunch. Having two computers is extremely important because you can multitask. I should have brought you guys along on a more eventful day. Today is like slow easy day but it's a slow day should have been more obviously honestly like if i had a hectic day i wouldn't be able to film so easy days it is right now it's 2 13 i have my scripts drafted but they are not ready yet i'm gonna turn the camera around 
So I have my four drafted somewhere here. And I have my 555 drafted somewhere there. I'm still listening to the meetings and cutting as I go along. And hopefully I'll be done soon so I can send my script for approval. Guys, as soon as I said easy day, I got called to breaking news. Marco Island Police Department investigating. Well, there's a police investigation. All right, now we gotta head that way. So, so yeah. Honestly, I'm really excited. This is like my last breaking news ever. Well, not ever. Can never say ever. Can never say never. Just for now, it's my last one. They're great. It's a little exciting, I'm not gonna lie, breaking news could be exciting. It could be a pain in the booty, but it could be exciting as well. Um, I think this was just like a suspicious package. I bet it's something dumb once I get there, but I guess we'll figure it out once we get there. Um, and yeah, I have my earphones on because your girl is still editing her other story that I might recycle and do tomorrow. As you guys can see, there is a crime scene tape. It's just reports of a suspicious package. And there is Bomb Squad and all that good stuff over there staging. That's my photographer's car. I just did a live shot now at a three. Marco Island in the area of South Heathwood Drive and Mistletoe Court. Wing News reporter Jennifer Morjan is there live. Jennifer, what are you seeing right now? Yeah, as you guys can see behind me, we have Marco Police Department. They are blocking off. Right now is 312, so I'm going to get ready for the 4 p.m. show for another live shot. And yeah, so I'm gonna write something up because that was a little, not nerve breaking, but that was a little bit of a lot. I haven't done like crazy breaking news live shot in a long time, so, so yeah. I'm gonna put a little script together and, and yeah. Well, this investigation is still very much active. You can still see the area blocked off. Because I'm sweating bullets. Another live hit, 345. It's so hot. It's literally so hot out here. What a way to kind of wrap up my last few days here. I'm gonna miss breaking news. I feel like I never actually got it here. Like I never got, it never happened really like on my shift. But I'm gonna miss it because this has been a fun day. I love breaking news, honestly. I think I like breaking news better than like day turn stories. Sometimes I like day turn stories, but breaking news, fast paced, the uh, ad living, quick on camera, running back and forth. I've literally been running back and forth like a maniac. The police, like at the like stopping traffic coming through, has probably been like, what is wrong with this lady? Because I have been <laughs> running in this heat like a maniac back and forth. Good times reporter pro tip especially if you work in a very hot area carry a dry shampoo with you and obviously a hairbrush and i might as well put some perfume on because no i smell good but i'll put some <laughs> cologne on this cologne has been in there since 1900s <laughs> i've had that perfume for so long it already smells like alcohol you know how perfume it smells like when it gets old Kind of like rubbing alcohol. Yeah, that's kind of probably what it smells like. No, I'm kidding. It smells really good. Right, I'm going to brush this hair for my last live shot. 5 p.m. How funny. Today ended up being exciting with you guys. These are like my oily areas. So this is the area that I'm going to put some of this. Ch -ch 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 -ch. My poor, poor photographer has been out in the sun this whole time. Poor guy. Look at the difference in the hair, guys. Carry this. Carry wipes, carry it all. 
Be prepared. Always be prepared. If there's one thing I can tell you guys is be prepared. Have everything in your bag. That's why I carry a ginormous bag with everything that I need. When I vlog in this camera, I'm always looking to like the viewfinder. I'm looking at myself and not at you guys, but I'm talking straight to you guys. All right, let me show you guys this hot mess I got going on. Whoa. There's my big bag with everything. And you can see there's still a scene out here. And over there we have our competition. All right, what time is it? It is 4.35. So I'm gonna kill some time here in the air before getting down. A little video for the memories. Oh, <laughs> you missed me. I will. It was. Now, Marco Island Police and Fire Rescue are actually clearing up the scene right now. They announced the suspicious package was two packages with shoes inside. All right, it is 5.17. I am on my way, finally. Back to the office, out of Marco Island. I'm putting my stuff in my bag. Switching out cars. I already got to the office and it's thundering. I'm gonna take a Zimba before it starts raining. All right, I'm gonna clock out. Take my stuff in, clock out. Finally time to go home. It is like 6.30 and I have a headache. Oh, I'm so tired. And it's hot. And I got a text that some buildings don't have electricity in my apartment complex. And I think one of them is mine. Because I tried to look at the camera to see what Zimbo was doing and... And it wasn't connected. So I'm thinking I have no electricity. Oh, nice! How fun, right? Good news, we have electricity. Alright guys, I just got home. I'm gonna take Zimbo out on his walk. And that is pretty much for my work day. I really didn't go into details about everything that is expected of me because it's just a lot of stuff. <laughs> no other way to explain it. But, but yeah, I hope I gave you a quick little insight. Oh my God, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm sorry. I hope I give you guys, uh, gave you guys some quick insight. And yeah, until next time, bye.